one of the key questions that we asked ourselves was centered on story. Um, how can story sharing activate ESD as deliberative learning actions in a handprint care approach? Well, we went back to the early EDTA, Explore, Discover, Think, Act approach that was used by CEE with the students in India. And then we also looked at the Lorette approach, which was around locally relevant themes, and then more conventional um, classroom task sequencing, all as ways of scaffolding ESD around a matter of concern. So if we take any process here, what we noticed that they were mainly in sort of a four-step progression and story sharing or startup stories or storytelling were key elements in the beginning of the learning engagement. And what um, came out of the Lorette approach is that something concrete or a problem or challenge or a question are really central for a story to actually lift out. And then into exploring through observation and reflection where the learners are able to discover ideas and then they're able to form more abstract concepts and theories as they think together about a concern. And then they're able to engage in some sort of active experimentation. So what we realized here is that we were getting into the heart of the pedagogical aspects of starting with story, then finding out more, then working things out together and trying them out. And we found that all of this fitted together very nicely into a four quadrant progression around a matter of concern. And for the handprint care work, what we started to do is to explore real world true stories to start up the inquiry. And this sort of pulled everything together for us around the idea of story sharing. And what we learned out of this was that if we are working with open real world stories and heritage, ESD can be activated around real world stories that invite story sharing and action learning towards um, accounts that show us the way. Mkombandlela was the term that we used for the Japanese um, kamishibai storytelling and paper picture sequence stories that are quite commonly used in um, primary school settings. And here what we did is we looked at a number of these and we started to develop um, picture-based stories that invited the learners to come in, join the story and tell their stories. Um, so story and story sharing and storytelling became key um, parts of the handprint care work. And one of the insights that came out is that real world stories that invite students to share their experience and ideas can be the foundations for positive learning actions and future sustainability in our subject teaching in our classrooms. And here is um, a report by teachers um, on a um, research process where they explored and developed these ideas for themselves in Southern Africa. And there's similar work on stories available, um, a massive amount of literature. So there's plenty to read and explore and develop in your own ways of working with stories um, in ways that co-engaged work becomes the handprint approach to ESD in a classroom setting.